so guys in the previous sessions we have discussed try one try two but now in this is a equivalence class for try three what is the structure of the decision table so find how many different rules that i have in this try three hello everyone i welcome all of you to the yet another interesting session on software testing so guys you have been watching a lot of sessions on decision table based testing on next state problem yes so guys in the previous sessions we have discussed try one try two but now in today's session i will be discussing try three this is going to be the final conclusion with respect to the decision table of next date problem so i want all of you to please watch this video completely till the end so we are getting into the problem of next date with respect to the decision table so fine let me not uh, spend much time here so you all know this we have been discussing this so again this is a equivalence class for try three so we are considering this is the different conditions that we have so guys let's get into it so without wasting much of your time so please observe i have condition number one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 conditions in total. The first 4 conditions are with respect to the month and the next 5 conditions are with respect to the days and the next 2 conditions are with respect to the year. So let's understand this, what is the condition that I have in detail. So I have M1, what is the meaning of M1 here? When I consider M1, so I'm considering the months which has got 30 days. I'm listing out all the months which has got the 30 days and I'm calling that as a M1. In the same way, I have M2. In this M2, please understand, I have all the months which has got the 31 days except December. So please make a note on that. So that is what you need to be particular with respect to the second condition. So fine. So what is the next condition that I have? I have the next condition as M3. What exactly I have in the M3? If I say M3, so you need to understand that this is a condition which is particularly speaking with respect to the month December. In the same way I have M4, M4 in the sense you need to understand that that is a condition which is speaking with respect to the month that is February. All right, so we have understood the four different conditions which deals with the month. What is the next condition that I have? The next condition that I have is D1. So it is not uh, very new for us if you are watching my previous sessions. So definitely this condition is not new. What exactly that I have? So please understand if I say D1, so I have the days range between 1 to 27. That is what I will call it as a D1. I repeat, please listen to me carefully. D1 in the sense, the days, it starts from 1 to 27. So whatever the number of days that I have, so I will call that as a D1. So same way I have D2. What exactly I am calling D2 as? If I say D2, it is nothing but the day, 28th day of that particular month, I will be storing in the condition d2 in the same way i have d3 d3 in the sense it is 29th day of that month and d4 in the sense 30th and and the same way i have d5 d5 is nothing but the 31st day of that particular month so that's what you need to understand with respect to the days so guys you need to observe there is a change that we have done in this try 3 so we did not had d1 to d5 is what you need to notice at this point of time fine when it comes to the year obviously we have two years so that is the leap year another one is a common year that's what you need to identify that is y1 and y2 so this is what i will call it as a equivalence classes that we have divided so that's what you need to understand sir what exactly this equivalence class so you go back to the previous videos i have done a clear uh, video on what exactly boundary value and equivalence class i have discussed that in detail so please watch that before you come to this 
I have explained in detail with respect to the boundary value and equivalence class. All right. So please go back and check before you come to this video. All right. So fine. I've taken this for a reference again. So yes, again, I have the decision table. So you all know if you're watching my videos, I think I have uh, discussed that in detail. What is the structure of the decision table? So find how many different rules that I have in this try three decision table with respect to the next date problem. So please observe, I have 10 rules in the above table. And again, I have 12 rules in the below table. So I have divided the tables into two parts. So in total, in the try three, I will be having 22 rules is what you need to make a note of it. So rule 22 is what you need to make a note of it. All right. So how exactly they have designed this decision table with respect to the next date problem is what I'm going to explain to all of you now. So please listen to me carefully. So fine. So how exactly this table is designed? So let's understand this. So guys, this is what I will call it as a condition stuff. So I have three conditions. So that is month, date, year. That's what they have taken here. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. So till I have 10. So this is what I will call it as a rules. This is what I will call it as a rules is what you need to remember. So fine. I have not considered the year in the beginning. So in the first part of the table, that's what you need to remember. So fine. So this is what I will call it as a condition stuff as I told you in the beginning. So fine then, what exactly this is all about, okay? This is all about the action stuff. So imagine this is the input and this will be the output is what you need to understand here. So fine, what is my input? And for that input, what should be my output is what we need to trace now one by one. So let's do that. Suppose my month according to the rule number one, so it says M1 and D1. So before I trace this, I wanted to give you the clarity in this video to all of you, how exactly this table they are trying to write. So it's a common sense, guys. So it's very simple that uh, we need to understand one thing. Please observe how many months I have. For all this months, so we have to have this days and year. That's what they have done. Very simple thing. So please observe. M1, they have taken five times because I have D1 to D5. They have given the M1 for all the D1, D2, D3, D4, D5. In the same way, they have given M2 for all D1, D2, D3, D4, D5. In the same way, they have taken M3 and they have given till D5. All right. Same way. So they have taken M4 is what you need to understand. That's how they have done the table. All right. Very simple to remember. So fine, let's trace the table what exactly they have done. So I have taken M1 and D1. What exactly M1 here is all about? M1 in the sense 30 days, D1 in the sense the days which should come in the range between 1 to 27. So what will be the output? Yes, you can increment the date. You can increment the date. There is no issue. I can calculate the next date. So fine, in the same way, I have the rule number two. I think I don't have to spend much time on this. I have spent a lot of time in the previous video in explaining this. So please observe M1, M2. So fine. So even in this condition, I'm taking D2, D2 in the sense 20 AD. Can I calculate? Yes, you can increment the day. There is no issue on that. So for D3, D3 in the sense what? 29 days. So can I calculate? Yes, you can calculate. But when it comes to D4, please observe, I have 30. I have 30 days. That's what you need to observe here. So when I have 30 days, what is that I need to do? So I need to do what is that? I need to reset the date because in the month I have 30 days and I have taken the date also 30. So I need to reset. I need to reset the day and I need to increment the month. So fine because I'm in the end of the month. So far for that, I need to increment the month. I need to reset the day to one. That's what you need to understand at this point of time. So fine, moving forward, I have M1 and D5. Please understand D5 in the sense 31. So how it is possible because I'm taking a month of days 30 and my day is 31. So is it possible for me to calculate the next date? No, it is not possible. So that's why we are calling it as impossible. In the same way, I have M2, M3, M4. Is it? No, I have M2 D1. So M2 in the sense what? So please understand the months which has got 
31 days. The months which has got 31 days. Okay, that's what you need to remember. So find the months which has got 31 days. I need to calculate for D1, D2, D3, D4, D5. So D1. So let's start with the D1. D1 since I think all of you know that. So 1 to 27. Can I calculate the next date? Yes, you can increment the day. All right. Same way when, with respect to the D2. D2 in the sense what? 28. That's what you need to remember. So can I calculate? Yes, you can calculate. Increment the day. So D3. So 29. Yes, I can increment. So D4. So what is that? So please observe when it comes to D4, 30. But still, I can calculate the next date. So when it comes to D5. So what is that I have to do? So please observe. I am the end of the month. So what is that I have to do? So I have to reset the day to 1 and increment the month. That's what I have to do. Fine. I understood the first part of the table. So let's go to the second part of the table. All right. So fine. What is that I have in the second part of the table? That is, which is starting from rule number 11. When it comes to rule number 11, the same thing, same thing applies here also. So I have M3. Okay. When it comes to M3, please observe that is a month which is in the December. Okay. So M3 D1, 1 to 28. So 27. Can I calculate? Yes. Increment the date. So M3 D2. So yes, you can increment the date. Okay. M3 D3. Yes, you can still. So M3 D4. Yes, you can still increment the day. But please observe M3 D5. D5 in the sense what? So I have 31. D5 in the sense 31. So what is that I'm supposed to do here? So please observe. I need to reset the date and reset the month and increment the year because I'm in the end of the year. That is what you should remember when it is having okay D5 in M3. So this is one of the conditions that you need to remember when we are moving to the next year. All right. So fine. In the same way, I have M4. When it comes to M4, my dear students, so please remember it's a month of February. All right. So when, it, when we have February, so D1, so no issues, I can increment the day. All right. So when I have uh, M4 again, it's a month of February. So D2. So D2 in the sense what? 28. So still I can increment. All right. So you need to remember here M4 and D2. So guys, so this condition, so please remember, so when do I have, when it is a leap year, only when I have in the leap year, I can increment the day. Suppose if it is not, so I'm not supposed to do. So please observe this. M4, D2, Y2, Y2 in the sense what? So when it comes to Y2, so year is a common year, it is not a leap year. So that's what you need to remember here. So what is that I will be doing? So reset the date and increment the month. Reset the date and increment the month because it is not a leap year. I will have only 28 days. That's what you need to remember. All right. So fine. I have a M4, D2. Okay. M4, D3. So please observe here. M4, D3, Y2. So what is M4? M4 in the sense February. Okay. And the next one that I have is D3. D3 in the sense 29. D3 in the sense 29. And then, so what is our next one that I have? Y2. So it is year in the common so common year. So is it possible? So it is not possible for me to calculate the next date. In the common year, I will not be getting 29 days in the February. That's what you need to remember. In the same way, I have M4 and D4. D4 in the sense what? Please observe. 30. Is it possible for me to get 30 days in the February? No, it is not possible. So it is impossible. In the same way, M4, D5. Again, when it comes to D5, so guys, observe. 31. So is it possible for me to calculate or is it possible in the February to have 31? No, it is not possible. So this is how we calculate the next date with respect to the decision table. Okay, this is how we write the decision table with respect to the next date problem. So guys, hope you understood this is going to be the third try. That is try three. So by this, I have come to an end of the session. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.